Are you planning to fly back to the Philippines anytime soon? Let us get to know the latest travel updates as well as travel restrictions to the Philippines this January 2021. Welcome to my channel. This is global trainer Jamie Iris bringing to you latest updates here locally and abroad. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as click the notification bell so that you'll get updated with the latest information and news. Now for 2021, the temporary arrival travel restrictions that we have for anyone who wants to fly to the Philippines are as follows. Effective January 15, 2021, as per the Bureau of Immigration, temporary arrival travel restrictions will be implemented until January 31, 2021, in compliance with the directives from Malacanang as recommended by the IATF EID. The following shall be allowed to enter the Philippines. All Filipinos, foreign vessel crew members, accredited foreign government and international organization officials and their dependents, those for medical and emergency cases, including medical escorts. Please take note that this is upon a compliance with the four IATF conditions and for those without an existing valid visa, including those who previously enjoyed visa-free privileges, must therefore apply for an entry visa at the nearest Philippine Foreign Service post. Now, effective January 17, 2021, in compliance again with the directives from Malacanang as recommended by the IATF EID, foreign nationals who have been to the following countries within the last 14 days from arrival in the Philippines shall not be allowed entry until January 31, 2021. Okay. We have more than 30 countries. Following are the United Kingdom, Denmark, Ireland, Japan, Australia, Israel, the Netherlands, uh, the People's Republic of China, including Hong Kong, SAR, Switzerland, France, Germany, Iceland, Italy, Lebanon, Singapore, Sweden, South Korea, South Africa, Canada, Spain, USA, Portugal, India, Finland, Norway, Jordan, Brazil, Austria, Pakistan, Jamaica, Luxembourg, Oman, and the latest two countries added were the UAE and Hungary. Aside from this, the following shall be allowed to enter the Philippines except those coming from the 30-plus travel-restricted countries due to the new COVID-19 strain. So we have the Balikbayans, foreign spouse and minor children of Filipinos, children with special needs regardless of age of Filipinos, foreign parent of minor Filipinos, and foreign parent of Filipino children with special needs. Again, regardless of age. As mentioned earlier, so this is in compliance with the four IATF conditions and those without an existing valid visa uh, must apply for an entry visa at the nearest Philippine Foreign Service post except the Palik Bayans. And should you have some inquiries, please take note of those contact details mentioned below. So again, kung may katanungan lang po kayo, tingnan nyo lang po yung mga contact details, email, telepono, at website na meron po tayo sa baba at maaari nyo po yung kontakin para makapagtanong po kayo ng complete details. Now for all... The following may be allowed visa-free entry privileges again to the Philippines under the Republic Act No. RA 6768 or the Act Instituting the Balikbayan Program. Again, Filipino citizens, foreign spouses and children regardless of age, former Filipino citizens including their spouses and children regardless of age. So again, to qualify, they must, number one, not be from the 30 plus countries that were mentioned earlier which were categorized as travel restricted countries due to the new COVID-19 strain. Number two, must be nationals from visa-free countries under executive order number 408 or S1960 and number three, must be traveling with a Filipino or for former Filipino spouse or parent and number four, must be in compliance with the IATF conditions. 
The following shall be allowed to enter the Philippines except for those coming from the 30-plus travel-restricted countries due to the new COVID-19 strain. Foreign nationals with the following visas, Section 13 Series of Commonwealth Act or CA No. 613 from 13 quota 13A to 13G visas, Number 2, RA7919 visas, EO324 visas, and then we also have the native-born uh, native, uh, visas. Number 5, temporary resident visa relative to Section 13 of CA613 as amended based on the memorandum number ADD01038 or ADD02015. Number 6, MCL07021 permanent residence visa based on Section 13A, CA613 under MO number MCL07021. Number 7, EO226 visa. Number 8, Special Investors Resident visa under EO226. And number 9, 47A2 visa issued by the Department of Justice. And lastly, number 10, Section 9D of CA number 613 as amended. So again, upon a compliance with the four IATF conditions and not applicable to SIRV under EO63. Now, the following effective January 17, 2021 as well, will be allowed to enter the Philippines, provided that they are not coming from the 30-plus travel-restricted countries due to the new COVID-19 strain. Now, foreign nationals with visas issued by the following economic zones, such as we have one APECO, or Aurora Pacific Economic Zone, SBMA, or Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, AFAB, or Authority of the Freeport Area of Pataan, CESA, or Cagayan Economic Zone Authority, or CDC, Clark Development Corporation. Again, subject upon compliance with the four IATF conditions. Foreign nationals with the following visas who leave the country starting December 17, 2020, Section 19E of CA number 613 as amended or Section 9G of CA number 613 as amended, except for those coming from the 35 or travel restricted countries due again to the new COVID-19 strain departed at the country on December 17 or later, only diplomats accredited to the Philippines, including foreign ambassadors or embassies rather, and international organizations. Uh, departed the country on December 17 or later, must present a valid ACR1 card and ECCSRC or Special Return Certificate upon compliance with the four IATF conditions. Now, let us just take a look at the four conditions set by IATF that the foreign national should be complying to upon entry to the Philippines, which was effective since December 7, 2020. Now, number one, must have a valid and existing visa at the time of entry except Balik Mayans. Number two, with pre-booked accredited quarantine facility. Number three, with pre-booked COVID-19 testing provider. And number four, subject to maximum capacity of inbound passengers as set by the National Task Force for COVID-19. So again, this is before flying. So upon uh, booking or before flying to the Philippines, you must ensure that you have these four conditions if you will be flying to the Philippines and you have a foreign passport. Now, this visual is also from the Bureau of Immigration. So, again, just like what was mentioned, the 30-plus countries were restricted due to the new COVID strain that was discovered in the United Kingdom. And the latest country, uh, countries that were included in the list were the last two, Hungary and the UAE. Now, for arriving Filipino nationals, flight from the travel-restricted countries, again, will always be subjected to the amended rules of the unaccompanied Minors uh, for all Filipino citizens coming from the travel-restricted countries shall be allowed entry but must be required to undergo the absolute facility-based 14-day quarantine period notwithstanding a negative RT-PCR result. 
Now, for unaccompanied uh, Filipino minors, all accompanied minors, Filipino citizens coming from travel restricted countries shall not be allowed boarding the airplanes except if such minor are returning through the repatriation program of the national government. Repatriated and accompanied Filipino minors shall be turned over to OWA and the DSWD upon arrival in the Philippines. Now, all un unaccompanied minor Filipino citizen coming from travel restricted countries who arrive in the Philippines despite the foregoing prohibition on non-boarding shall be returned over to the authorized TSWD officer. Now, the airline who allow the unaccompanied minor Filipino citizen to board shall be referred for imposition of fines or penalties in accordance with the pertinent in issuance of the DOTR and its attached agencies. And, number C, and letter C, all unaccompanied minors for non-travel restricted countries shall be allowed entry. Transit passengers, arriving Filipino citizens who transited or who have a mere layover at the airport of the travel-restricted countries, layover only at the airport with no immigration admission of said countries, shall be allowed entry, subject to RT-PCR tests, quarantine and isolation protocols issued by the DOH. So, Again, if you came from other countries that are not included from the 30-plus restricted countries because of the new COVID-19 virus as trained then if you will lay over in one of these 35 countries as long as you don't get out of the terminal okay uh, it's fine you will be allowed to enter the philippines provided you will be subject to rtpcr test quarantine and isolation protocols uh, issued by the doh now for arriving foreign national so those coming from or who have been to the travel restricted countries, so example with immigration admission to said countries and not merely over at the airport, so within 14 days immediately preceding arrival to the Philippines, you shall not be allowed entry. So the above prohibition to enter the Philippines shall apply to all foreigners regardless of your visa category or previously issued endorsement or exemption from the Department of Foreign Affairs or privileges like Balikbayans during the duration of the travel ban, except those covered by the IATF and EID resolution numbers 92 and 94 series of 2021. Now, let us take a look. Uh, sino ba mga exempted in this travel restrictions? Who are res exempted in travel restrictions pursuant to IATF MEID Resolution Number 92 Series of 2021? So, number one, local or accredited foreign diplomats and international organizations such as WHO and United Nations, visa holders or diplomatic officials, regular passport holders with valid 9 in visa and DFA authorization. Who else? Foreign dignitaries with DFA authorization and number three those for medical and emergency cases including their medical escorts if any okay who else those exempted from travel restrictions pursuant of the IATF MEID resolution number 94 series of 2021 shall be subject of a supplemental advisory so they said those who are too transited or have a mere layover at the airport of the travel restricted countries layover only at the airport and no immigration admission at said country so it could be paul you're flying from france and then stop over in the uae it could be abu dhabi or uae and then back to the philippines so okay lang po yun kasi hindi naman po lumabas sa transit area then letter B, those not coming from these countries may be allowed entry, provided they are authorized to enter the country through relevant resolutions of the IATF MEAIT and subject to RT-PCR tests, quarantine and isolation protocols issued by DOH. Those who are transited and left the airport or who were cleared for entry into the travel-restricted countries by its immigration authorities shall not be allowed to entry. Now, advisory to the airlines, this is in accordance to the D DOTR memorandum or its attached agency. So, this travel restriction guidelines are valid until January 31, 2021 until further extended. Now, in addition to the applicable fine imposed by the Bureau of Immigration for violation of immigration laws, rules, and regulations, so lahat po ng airlines ay responsable for the boarding of passengers who are prohibited from the entering uh, the Philippines pursuant to the travel restrictions imposed by the Office of 
of the President and the IATF MEID shall be accordingly referred to uh, for impositions of fines and penalties in accordance with the pertinent issue ones of the DOTR or its attached agency. So, bawal po mananagot ang mga airlines. Existing guidelines for foreign uh, crew members shall be observed. All of the foregoing is without prejudice to the exercise of the mandate of the Bureau of Immigration in arrival and departure formalities. So this is the latest travel updates and restrictions for anyone who's planning to fly here in the Philippines until or between uh, now until January 31. So please take note for any changes. So once again, this is Global Trainer Jamie Iris. I'm inviting you to once again subscribe if you hindi pa po kayo subscribe And please do not forget to uh, also like the video if this has help, helped you. And at the same time, again, just like what was mentioned, thank you for subscribing everyone and don't forget to click the notification bell. With that, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you everyone.